What's up, my friends? So I don't want this to get weird or awkward or anything, but I just want to take a peek. Can I take a peek real quick inside your home? That's what I was afraid of. My friends, here's the deal. It doesn't matter to me what brand of glass stovetop you have, or even how big your kitchen is. But what I do care about is that your glass stovetop is free from spills, splatters, and smears. So in this video, I'm going to help you out because I'm going to show you how to clean your glass stovetop with confidence. So cleaning glass stove tops is actually really simple. All you need is some Dawn dish soap, or any dish soap will work, and a microfiber cloth. You might ask, well, what about paper towels? What about washcloths? Does it always have to be microfiber? Personally, I always recommend microfiber because when it comes to toilet paper, tissues, paper towels, washcloths, those materials are all wood-based, and the fibers in those materials could potentially leave little micro-scratches all over that cooktop. And you don't want that. Take that circumstance out of the realm of possibility by always using microfiber. As you'll see, this is a very simple process. Just add you a few drops of dish soap to your microfiber cloth. Get the cloth wet, bring it back over to the stove top and start wiping it down. And this will cut and remove all the grease and grime. And of course, as you're doing this, you'll want to go back and forth to the sink and rinse that cloth out so that you don't leave soap residue on the cooktop. If the stove top is still a little bit wet, you can get you a separate dry microfiber cloth and kind of dry it off so that you don't have any type of streaks. So you might be asking, what about this stuff? This is what I see at Home Depot and Lowe's next to the, the stoves. I mean, am I supposed to use it? Isn't it necessary? Wyman glass cooktop heavy duty cleaner and polish. This stuff's the bomb diggity. It's a yay yay, right? Truth be told, this stuff right here is nothing more than an upsell, okay? And if you buy it and you think you need it, you're nothing more than a sucker. Now this stuff does work, don't get me wrong, I mean it's not like it's a horrible product and it's just going to leave your, your stove top smeary and streaky and it's not going to work. Yeah, it, it works, it's a good cleaner, but it's just unnecessary. The dish soap and the microfiber cloth will get the job done and get it, job, get it done for way cheaper. Now there are situations sometimes where I've had to use this stuff because sometimes I'll come across a glass stove top and there's just a haze over it and I just, the dish soap ain't cutting it for whatever reason. But if I, if I encounter 100, 100 stove tops, 98 of them, I could solve with my dish soap and my microfiber cloth. There's those rare circumstances where I've had to use this, and that's why I have a bottle. Let's talk about those caramelized burnt-on rings that you get from cooking. To remove those things, what you're going to need is a razor blade. Just a little painter's blade. Very simple. You can buy them at the store, real cheap. You can get like six of them for a dollar. Simply just scrape the surface and those burnt on rings will come right off. The only thing you always gotta remember when you're doing this is make sure that that blade is new and that it's not dull. If it's dull, then you run the risk of scratching your glass stove top. So make sure when you're doing this to always use a fresh, new, sharp blade and you won't have to worry about scratching the surface. That's it, my friends. That's all I got for you. That's the video. Let me check this out one more time and see how it turned out. Woo! Wait! That gets me excited. That is awesome. You did a great job. Clean, fresh, sleek glass stove tops. Gallons of it everywhere in the harbor stores. Walk through the doors and it could be yours. Crud, cutting one bottle at a time. Everybody, now spit this rhyme.